Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Craft the World. And on this episode, we are going to continue where we left off. Now, they actually made all the beer that we had asked them to make earlier, so they've been really, really busy. I guess that's why they weren't over there in the temple where I wanted them to be, because they were busy making stuff over here. So let's go ahead and put all that beer down. It does give them a little nice speed boost, and we do have a wave in coming in about four minutes. Uh, but before that wave gets here, I want to see if we can get a little deeper in that pyramid. Uh, not exactly the method I wanted to do. I didn't really want to have to leave the pyramid uh, halfway through uh, unfinished because, again, these guys will spawn uh, when you do it that way. But oh, there we go. Nice. Okay, so nobody even fell down in there, huh? Let's see. Do we have any more? Yeah, we have enough portal over here. Let's do a couple more. And then we will come down here. Now, I put... Uh, ladders in here just because I didn't want my guys to constantly be falling down and getting hurt uh, Why they they try to make that trek. Let's send you to sleep You're fine. You're fine A lot of guy guys are perfectly fine the way they are uh, You could use a little bit of sleep I guess but not really that big of a deal I did see some of my guys fighting I don't understand why they're running this route when there's a perfectly good portal Over there on that side and it's been there the entire time it's, it's very kind of frustrating why these guys decide to take the route they're taking uh, for no good reason. I mean, they're all heading over here anyways, and there's a portal here. There's been a portal here since I started this whole area. The, the portal's never disappeared. There's no reason for them to be running this route. This is not an easy route for them to take. Uh, it definitely digs into the, the amount of time it takes for them to get there, and it's just kind of one of those things that is kind of annoying me a little bit so let's see uh, you got some more bows so let's go ahead and upgrade our bows here I think there's only one guy who needs it yeah this guy right here so we got an extra bow so when we get an extra guy we might be able to make him a bowman where are you guys going um, you guys are finally falling down here I don't know where my guys are going to be honest I don't I guess maybe they're trying to pick something up but I don't know what it is. Or unless there's there's a leftover stuff I told them to harvest, maybe? No, I don't see any leftover stuff down here for them to harvest. I did hear some flames, like from a guardian, but I didn't... I don't see one. Because we killed all the guardians we know about. Where are they fighting? Why are you guys even in here? There's nothing for you to be had over here. Well, at least these guys are coming over here. We got two minutes before the next wave. And so, let's see. Can they get a little bit deeper? There you go, guys. We'll put some ladders over here as well. And we got some nice uh, water drainage over here. We might go ahead and harvest that as much as possible. There we go. Get some of our guys in here to help out. Come on, chop, chop. I still don't see the big open empty cavern the Guardian will be hiding in because, again, he's a really, really tall dude, so he can't hide in these single lanes. Uh, he's going to need uh, a lot more space. Oh, finally down here. Wow, this is a big temple compared to that last one. I guess they wanted you to get ready for it, you know, just kind of be prepared on what you should expect from the last one. Yeah, take a little bit more damage, why don't you, guy? <laughs> uh, what do we got here? A smithing book increases the speed at which objects are made from metal. That's going to come in handy. Uh, let's go ahead. Can we get down here yet? No, we can't. I wonder where it's going to knock us down. There it goes. Oh, great. This is not what I wanted. Not yet. But it doesn't even look like there's a guardian down here. Like, we should be able to see him already. And we can't. And we have, what, one minute and 17 seconds till the next wave? Do we have anybody else coming down here? Yeah, we got a few more of our guys. Uh, coming nice. That's perfect. Uh, hmm. This is gonna be this is gonna be close. Remove construction. Oh, there he is. Uh, holy crap. Oh man, this is this is not gonna end well. Let's, let's go ahead and take that off. Take that off. Come on. Oh, he's gonna die. He's gonna die unless this guy lets him out. Let him out. Oh, and this guy's just walking away from his friend. His friend's over here sacrificing his life, and he has the gold armor on and everything. He's holding his own. Um, I can't force him to use health potions, can I? 
I don't think I can. Let me look. Um, let's drag this down here. And that. Nope, I can't force him to drink it. Open the door for this guy, man. Do something for your friend here. Okay, yeah, I did give him some health potions. Aw, oh, come on! Why are you... Oh, you guys. You're gonna leave your little buddy to die. That's what you're gonna do. He's gonna have to fight all these guys all on his own. Come on. Oh, his health is still going back up. Oh, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Somebody better come over here and let this guy out. Somebody has to, because he's not going to survive this. Look, at it's bugged out again. This is crazy. This is not the way it's supposed to be. Oh, there we go. His health's going back up. Portal is open, so my guys are definitely not coming over here anymore. Uh, and I can't leave this area. Oh, you. Uh, you. You guys drive me nuts. And I lost one of my guys. Okay, so let's go back over here to the portal get my completely and totally worthless dwarves to come over here because <laughs> now now they are all getting a demotion they don't they don't deserve to be called uh, my minions anymore they are now the uh, worthless pile of goo that they are going to die and uh, become as soon as uh, I can send them over there <laughs> they've lost all my respect they, they had plenty of time to help that guy he could have completely and totally have climbed out and instead, what happens? They take their sweet little time, don't help anybody do anything, and it's ridiculous. It really is. Oh, let's, let's kill these guys. Attack! And if they do get close enough, it looks like they do set off the traps. Although, they kind of got close enough to set the traps off and then get out of the way of the trap, which is not ideal. I don't really want them setting off the trap using a charge and then not giving me any damage in return. These guys have not even gotten close to my base yet because of all the traps that we've put down. Let's get rid of the scaffolding so they can't use it. I need to seal this up as well. I completely forgot about that. I know, uh, I think it was Tamara that mentioned that I need to seal that up and I uh, keep remembering, or keep forgetting to do that. Uh, let's see, these guys... Uh, they're gonna get pretty close, I think. They got a lot of big guys on their side, so maybe not. We'll have to see how close they get. Low health. Who's low on health? And why? Where are you even at? Why are you even over here? Yeah, why would you be over here? Where is he going? Anywhere but home, I'm sure. Let's put this here. Somebody else is low on health. Uh, you need to go to sleep. Yeah, there you go. Go to sleep. Our guys are doing pretty good. They could back up a little bit and let them take a little bit more damage from the traps, I think. There you go. You're running home. This guy's fighting all on his own with his mithril sword. And they seem to do pretty good until their back gets turned against the enemies. And then they just start taking massive damage. There we go. Run, 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 run. No, no, no. Don't die. Don't die. Run. There we go. You guys can take the rest of the traps. Yeah, that's that should kill them off, I think. If we're lucky. No, we got one trap left. Come on, guys. Let's get down here and kill these guys off. They're almost dead. I need to add another Tesla Tower, I think. I don't think... Oh, no. No, 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 no. no. We can't allow that. We can't allow you to get up there. I think that's going to be... Yeah, they don't have enough of these guys. If they did, they would have got all the way up here. I think that's... How did these guys even get in here? They're too big. I don't understand how they're getting past my, my brick, my stone right here, why these other guys are getting stuck. These guys can't get by it. They get stuck over here, and yet these guys somehow manage to get in there. Come on, kill them. Nice. And as they get over here, these towers actually attack. I think this is a good setup. These guys attack over here. These guys thin out the herd, and if they get close enough, these guys attack yet again. Okay, there we go. So is everybody dead? No, not everybody. Come on, kill these guys. That's it. Let's put some minions down. We're going to need a lot of those guys. Oh no, they all burst into flames. We lost the resources uh, for those big fat guys. <laughs> Let's kill those guys and see if we can seal this up before it spawns again. Grab this tree while we're at it. Oh man, this is pretty hectic. This is a lot of 
a lot of things going on. Now I need to rebuild my traps, but I'm not really too worried about that at the moment. I think we're going to wait on building those traps. We're going to make sure all my guys are full life. And then we're going to go over there and avenge the dwarf that apparently was not liked by anybody. Uh, it was the guy who uh, did some bad things and uh, played pranks on all my dwarves. And uh, when he needed them the most, they were like, no, nah, you know what? I'm going to call him sick. <laughs> they just left him to die. I've never seen anything like that before. It's crazy. He had to have done something serious. Something something they just could not forgive him for. So let's get these guys sleeping for the ones that need it anyways. Uh, collecting resources. You guys are all good, actually. Wow, very few of them actually took any damage. There we go. Or if they did take damage, they've already healed up because I did see some of them running away. Where are you guys running to? Oh, you're going to come over here and pick stuff up? Now you're going to come over here? Well, let's go over here and pick this up, and we will... You know, we're going to have to dig underneath it again. That's the only way we can do this, is to dig underneath them again. So let's see. Okay, this is our row with the traps. That's not going to be too hard. We can fix that. Okay, so let's... Let's get a portal over here. Do we have any power potions? No, we don't have any power potions. Oh, we're going to have to make some of those. Let's see, do we have the stuff? Yes, we have some bottles, finally. We need some more gray mushrooms. We never have enough of those gray mushrooms. So when that is done, we will seal this up, seal that up, come over here and chop all of this down. Put these here. Chop that down. And we will chop all this down as well. And that way we can have them just come across the path that we already have set up that actually has a great deal of traps already down. So we don't really have to put a whole other set of that. There we go. That should get them started at the very least. Oh, I'll grab that gray mushroom right there. Let's see how many traps do we have. This should be more than enough, uh, to be honest. Let's grab that gray mushroom. We can't get to that one over there. We can grab these two. There we go. And... We need to come out here and clear these guys out because there's a few more mushrooms that I want to get. As soon as they're full life, which would actually be now. They're ready for it, okay? So let's go ahead and get rid of this and this, and we will use one of our... No, we don't have enough yet. I don't want to have them walk down here because when they walk down there, they're going to get hit by all these guys, and that's not ideal. So let's see. As soon as my potion is done... There you go. One of them's done, and they're... He finished with it, but I don't think he has it on his back. And I don't see it on the... Oh, there it is, right there on the floor. Okay. So let's see. You guys are going to drink some beer. Let's put a few more of those down. It seems like they favor one table more than the others. First, uh, they go to that one. They kind of clear it out a little bit. And then they go to the other ones uh, when there's no more beer left. And that's the very first thing they get, is the beer. But it definitely is kind of like a nice incentive. Because before I had beer down... A lot of the time, they would get down to about one thing of uh, hunger before they actually went and ate anything. And this way, I've noticed that they go and get food uh, quite quickly. Uh, come on. Seriously? Okay, well, we're going to put a portal. Because we have to, and we're going to tell all our guys to come down here and uh, attack. Come on, guys. Attack! Oh, wow, he took a lot of hits on that one. And there's my new guy wearing a turban. Let's see, can I give him anything? I mean, because I wasn't able to get my armor back because he died in a hole in the ground. Let's give him a rusty helmet. Let's give him some iron boots. Uh, he's a logger. What do we want to make him? In fact, what kind of books do we have? We want to give him a miner's book. And we want to give him... Uh, let's make him an archer. Just because we have an extra bow that's really good and we'll give him a silver pickaxe and an axe and what can we give him over here uh we'll give him a backpack i guess come on kill okay. no. oh i lost another one was that the the brand new guy wow these guys are tough these guys do some serious damage together all three of them attacking is not a good idea okay you guys need to you guys need to go back home on. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. The one with the mithril sword. Okay, there we go. 
Oh, that was nasty. That is not what I wanted. Go ahead and pick up all that stuff, guys. I'm gonna have to figure something out with these guys. I think I'm gonna have to bring one of my guys over here and put some traps down when they're not looking or something. Let's leave them alone for now. This is the second or third time that we've attacked them, and it didn't go well, and we've lost some of our dwarves because of it. Uh, it's just, it's too, it's too tough over there, so let's come over here. And we will finish doing the digging where we really, really need it. Let's put a portal yes. right over here. And I will have to put those traps back, otherwise uh, one of my dwarves will probably go down there and die uh, when I don't want them to. Because there is some stuff down there for them to loot. So let's find those... where are they? Da, da, da. There we are. Beware signs. That way that we don't have to worry about them messing around over here where we don't want them to go. Let's put this over here. Put one right on top of the portal. So they're not tempted. Ah, these guys are tough. These guys with the hammers, these uh, maces or whatever. They suck, man. I hate those guys. I wish I could use... Uh, well, I don't have enough power, otherwise I would, but I wish I could use those power to just sit there and annihilate them. Where are you going? Where where on earth are you going? You better not be coming over here. Oh, he's going to come over here and mine. Okay. That better be where you're going. Because if you go over there and die, I'm going to be very, very angry. When you had tons and tons of stuff to do over here, look at all the stuff I got ready for you. You can just come over here and dig. I'm going to do anything fancy. You guys can even put down more... You can get ready for the, the waves that are incoming. There you go do that. Let's see, can we build some more traps? I think we have plenty of wood to be honest. Let's see, how many more can we make? 34? Probably not going to be enough. Definitely not enough for the top and the bottom for the traps that I need to put back, but uh, it's a good start, I guess. Let's do this. Okay, there you guys go. Can you not get up there? I guess you can't. Can we put that there? There you go. Now you guys can start chopping that stuff down. We'll put some scaffolding here as well. Um, put some in the water, right? Can I not do it because I can't see? Yeah, I can't see over here. We'll do that. And then we will dig. Where do we want to dig over here? I think right here is probably a good spot. So we'll make sure not to do the toppies. Why are you over here? I couldn't get you to come over here for I don't know how many years, and now, <laughs> not years, but for how long, and, and now you guys are over here for, for no uh, good reason other than because you're stupid. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. You guys are driving me nuts. Let's put a portal over here so you can at least get home a little quicker. And now you guys can leave. Yes, you can. Wow, those those guys. They're really testing my patience. Uh, I, I, I get to the point in this game where I might actually kill them just for the fun of it. Just to see what would happen. Because uh, <laughs> they are not doing what I want them to do. Stop testing my patience, guys. You don't want to see what will happen. I guarantee you will regret it. Uh, and so will I, because it's going to take me forever to get more replacements in. Let's do this. We're going to put some lights down here. Let's do one right here and one over here, and that should be enough right there. There we go. So we can stop right there. We don't need to go any further than that. Okay, guys, what is taking you so long? You got a portal over here, don't you? No, they finished with that portal already. Let's do another. We'll do a few more portals. This is going to take them a while to finish up all this stuff. Let's put some more traps down. There we go. Might be too much for them to do all at one time, but... Uh, because they are so slow at doing anything. In fact, I could do it myself, probably. I, I might do that. No, I don't really want to do that. That would be defeating the purpose of the game to uh, to have to do it all yourself. Telling them what to do should be good enough. And if they can't do it, then I get to sit there and criticize them for it. So I think that works out. Where are you going? Yeah, they like coming up here. They they like this path for some reason. They might be programmed to take this path at any time, given uh, uh, you know they're close enough to this area. Whether they have a, a goal to get here or not, they seem to favor this. So I don't know. That might be in the program. That might be another one of those little bugs that they're aware of that they uh, will eventually fix, or maybe they like it that way. Maybe they won't fix it. Let's go ahead and chop that down. 
this is crazy. This is not the way it's supposed to be right here. This is too many. Too many guys. This is nuts. Absolutely nuts. Jeez. Uh, we need more scaffolding. Here we go. Come on, guys. A little quicker. A little quicker. You guys got plenty of beer. You shouldn't be running at a at a speed. And we'll have to make some more bridges, or not bridges, but ladders, so they can get up that route. Because again, um, I can't put down scaffolding very easily over there where the uh, the power is in effect. So. I'll definitely have to come over here and chop a little bit of the trees down. Get a little bit more of this wood. And if I had power, I'd put it back. But again, that's one of those few things that we're really, really low on. And in fact, I think I might be able to make some more potions now that we got a few more of those uh, those mushrooms. There we go. Three more. Uh, I got plenty of elixirs of fire. Let's see. Can we do anything with... Uh, yeah, we can do this, I think, right? Because we got a few gold pieces. Nah, I mean... I think we're going to do silver. I think that's what we decided was silver was probably the best bet because we had a whole bunch of it to go around. And you don't really use it for too much at this stage. So let's do six of those to start with. What's our comfort rating? 66, so it's gone up. We got another guy back. Let's go ahead and check him out. Actually, we have to wait for him. To no, he's there. Okay. Let's go all the way to the end. And he is main. Okay, well, main, you're going to get some good stuff. You're going to get some silver armor. You're going to get a steel helmet. You're going to get some iron boots. And what do we want to make you? Oh, you're already a warrior, okay? Well, you're going to get the... Mi oh, my mithril guy died? Oh, that just... That just adds insult to injury on that one. You guys are driving me up the wall. Okay, we're going to have to buy another miner's book because we went through all of those. Let's give you a steel axe and a silver pickaxe. And you are good to go for now. Let's come over here and buy a, a few more. Let's see where are they at. Here we go. We're going to buy that many. <laughs> this is very, very precise. Let's see. Can we buy it? We can buy some armor. We're very, very close to getting that armor. What is this chin armor? I wonder why we can't make this. Well, it's not in my recipe book. I've never seen it before. Really, the only way to get it is to buy it. It's kind of interesting, but, uh, you know, the swords would be better, I think, to buy as the weapons go. Ooh, maybe even a mithril wizard staff. 20 damage, distance 6. It really doesn't do more more damage, though. Hmm. Because this one does 15. Yeah, it's really not worth it, in my opinion, compared to, say, the mithril sword that does 45, and we're getting... Silver right now that is 35. Ah, it's not really that big of an increase now. So I really don't want to waste the points on that. I think we might hold off on that, actually. Yeah, I think we're going to hold off on that. Okay, you guys. Plenty of beer down here left. Yes, I'll go ahead and replenish a little bit more. You can see how just how quick they drink this stuff. Let's put this down as well. There we go. It's all my beer. You guys are a bunch of little piggies, and they're making their armor. Yes, they're not the armor, but the weapons. Okay. Now, if my plan goes as accordingly as it should, to my... Uh, wait, I don't know what I'm saying. But if my plan is, is uh, you know, effective, I don't really think we're going to need the weapons too much. I think we're, we're probably going to be pretty good without them if the traps work the way they're supposed to. I think I learned my lesson on the last one. This tunnel's going to be a whole lot longer than... Uh, than it was last time. Let's do this. Oh, that's where we're going to need the ladders. So let's see, can we make some more ladders? Uh, we need more wood. Didn't I chop down some wood? They haven't They haven't gone over there to chop down the wood yet, huh? Dang, that's too much. Too much. Come on, guys. Where's my wood? Uh, yeah, they haven't chopped any of it down yet. Let's chop a few pieces here. There we go. And as soon as they come back and get that, there they go. No, nope. maybe. No, nope, they're just delivering stuff or picking stuff up. You can see them. They run back to the warehouse. They pick up uh, some of those traps and they go right back. So I'll need wood not only for the ladders, but I also need a whole bunch more traps. 
to be honest, before the next wave comes. And the next wave is in 35 minutes. So I'll probably have to do that before we even get into that that uh, pyramid. Because again, those rocks in the pyramid are so friggin' dense that it takes somewhere around uh, 7 or 8 minutes per block for somebody to sit there and destroy it. And if you want to do too wide, my suggestion is to do that before you get up to the very top block because once you get up there, the enemies keep spawning from that sarcophagus and occasionally they come down before your dwarf is done chopping the block, but he's already been there for like six or seven minutes. He only has like uh, another 30 or 40 seconds left on the clock, but because uh, he gets attacked, the clock basically resets and he has to start all over again. That was one of the things I was running into on the last level, or not the last level, but the last temple, uh, trying to get into that pyramid type area. And it was kind of annoying. It's one of those things you really want to plan out. And if you're unfamiliar with the area, it's going to cause you some issues. But overall, it's really not that bad of an area. I think it's it's pretty it's pretty fun. I mean, you know, granted, it it is kind of annoying that I have to go in this way rather than the way it probably is meant to be, you know, attacked. But you know, you got to do what you got to do in these levels. So my guys are going to finish getting up this wood. I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. I am going to uh, use some of the power that I, I get in between videos and just replenish this area so that it doesn't get torn up by the tornado, hopefully. Uh, I will let them get some rest and finish making the weapons, and I will catch you guys on the next episode. Again, if you like these videos, please hit that like button, subscribe. It definitely helps grow my channel, and I greatly appreciate it. If you have any comments, make sure to leave those below because I love hearing back from you guys. Uh, I do apologize if I'm a little negative on these dwarves. But after watching them let one of my dwarves die in there, it was it was one of those things that it's kind of hard to yeah. forgive them for doing that. That was that was tough to watch. That was hard to see my guy just left in there to die when they were they were just standing up there. They they wouldn't help him out, and uh, yeah, it just got to me a little bit. So again, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time.